Good morning, everyone. This is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I want to show you this journal that I finished. Uh, well, I just finished it this morning, actually. I put the last couple or a few of finishing touches on it. So, welcome to my channel. And I want to encourage you to just take a moment and breathe. <laughs> Take a moment, breathe, and relax, and sit down with me and look through this journal with me because I'm going to give you a detailed walkthrough. I'm just like thrilled with the way it came out. Uh, like I've said previously, I try to do new things and, you know, new things I think of, new things I see, and it, it with each journal I create, I try to, you know, incorporate these new things. So I did some new things in here and I'll tell you about those, but just get your coffee or your tea or your soda or your water and sit down with me for a few minutes and walk through this with me because it's really cool. <laughs> okay, so we'll just get started. I have um, made a magazine journal. I've been making, uh, this is my third one. I actually have this in my shop now, in my Etsy shop. And uh, so I have four four magazine journals, uh, three three I just made recently, and one has been in there for a few weeks. It's got a uh, the front cover. I think it's a country living magazine, and it uh, was uh, a magazine I had from the summer, and it's really cool because it had like a retro camper on the front. So that one is also really cool, and it's in my Etsy shop. But I have that one. Better Homes and Gardens, uh, my country living ch uh, magazine journal from the Just Junk Journal Challenge, and this country living. So here we go. What I have is uh, the cover from the magazine is the cover of the journal. I have this tie here, which is really cool. It has some writing on it, and I had saved this from you know us junk journalers and junk journal creators. Uh, just see things that other people don't see in things like Hey, I can use that in my junk journal or making it or you know if you write in it and Maybe you want to put something into it. So we just see, see things in a different way. I really believe that so I Found this I think I found this at work. I Don't know or remember what it was from but I thought I liked the color and I like the writing on I thought it was really cool and actually it was twice as long as this so I've only used half of it um, so I have the other half to use still so that's pretty exciting that I didn't have to use all of it but let me just show you it says um, Manhattan Fruitier Fruitier <laughs> isn't that cool it's green with brown brownish brown writing on it so that's all on this tie which I really and it's made of uh, I don't know what this material is like a thick it almost reminds me of zipper material <laughs> I was trying to think of how to describe it you know I'm not a fra fabric expert so I don't know you know I'm sure it's the cottony or got some cotton in it but it's not stretchy or anything and it's just really cool I, I think it is anyway anyway that's the tie so on the cover here's the cover of the, the magazine I used, I thought this brown wax cording went well for the binding on this one. I've got the green rick rack. I've got zigzag on the bottom and the top, straight stitching on the sides. So, and then on the front, what I did to do my new ideas and different things I did here on the cover was this piece here, which is a pretty bronze metal piece that I've put on the cover and then I put up here let me see if I can show you I put an eyelet it's a bronze eyelet right here and then I use this bronze notebook ring here so this can be taken off you know you just open up the notebook ring and take it off and that's you know you can leave it here as a decoration or I kind of you know put some extra tags on here for someone to use if they want to so however you the person that gets this wants to use it and I've got a bronze key on there as a charm or a decoration. So let me just show you that real, oops, ooh, bumping on the camera. Let me just show you that and let you, let my camera focus. So that came out really cool, I think. That was my two new ideas on the cover. 
And then on the inside, I have a pocket here on the inside front cover. Some ephemera I have in here is a piece of cutoff. And those come in handy for your creativity, whoever gets this to use. A pretty journaling card. And a, another journaling card that I made, which I showed in my previous, I've got a vintage label on the back too, which I think is cute and pretty nice. <laughs> I like those little red and white old labels and those are really old. Anyway, um, this has gold trim on it and it's a picture from the magazine, which I think I put a few of those in here. And I showed how I made these in my, per you know, they're not complicated, of course, but, you know, I just went through it on my uh, previous video before my giveaway drawing video, video. So two videos back, I have how I made that. I believe it's two videos back. So this is a page from the magazine. All the magazine pages I've backed in, with and sewn on coffee dyed paper on the back. So... My idea was to cover up whatever was on the back and then have the front of the um, the journal page that I liked to be the you know a page in the journal. So and I used green, dark green thread in here. I thought it went well with the overall colors color scheme of the journal. So there you see the coffee dyed paper. Something else different that I did in this journal that I you know I do distress a lot of things but I went back through this morning and just distressed almost every single edge in this edge of the page, outside edge of the page so this edge right here I went through and distressed every single edge I thought that would be you know I want a vintage kind of not necessarily totally grunge look but I did want that vintage kind of worn type look if you know what I mean. So I went through and it may not show up in the camera, but you can see it. You know, I wanted it to be, you know, subtle, but you know, you can see when you have it in your hands that each edge has been distressed. So that's what I did, an idea I had overnight. And then my green dyed paper, another pretty page from the magazine. And here I have a doily pocket. And another idea I have overnight, I realized I hadn't done any rubber stamping. I didn't want to do a whole lot because I figured the person that gets this can use their own if they have rubber stamps, their own rubber stamps to decorate the journal. But I did go ahead and put this pretty owl here. And the things I have in this pocket are a piece of cutoff and a journaling card. So those are in there. And then this is a coloring book page and just a little short green dyed paper page. Now here I put on uh, this word when I was going through my ephemera I found this word journal and I thought that was cool and that's why I went ahead and put it in here as a tuck spot. And in here the ephemera I have is a journaling card and this is a little piece of ephemera I picked up somewhere at a thrift store and I thought it was cute. So I put that in here for journaling on. And then I have a little few pieces from an old, really old receipt book. In fact, this one says, is written on and it says 1969. So there's one written on and then two, well, two written on. This one says 1970. <laughs> so, and the rest of this was blank this receipt book. I got it at an antique flea market. So uh, we have two receipts that are written on and then you can use these as a decoration or write on the back. Let's see. There's two sticking together. Oh, I have three written on. <laughs> this one doesn't have a year. So there were three written on and the rest was blank. So it's pretty cool to read, you know, what happened back in 1969. And then I have a blank one and they're blank on the back. So Lots of writing space there on those. And then next page, let's see. So this was coffee dyed page, so you could write on that too. And then we have a page from the magazine, a smaller, short uh, coffee dyed page. And then here I have a pretty paper clip with an actual used seed packet that I got at a yard sale. And 
they were, you know, here it's a little. The lady had a bunch of these that I bought, and um, she had her seeds still in here. I took the seeds out because I think they were pretty old. <laughs> they probably wouldn't grow if someone tried to plant them. So I took all the seeds out, and I just thought these would be fun to put in journals. So I have this as a pocket, and I have goodies in here. Let's see what I have. I've got a journaling card that I made. A little piece of like a tag that's craft cardstock, some, let's see, a couple of green stamp pieces here, SNH green stamp pieces. So just things that you can create with. Now let me get these back in here real quick. Maybe, maybe we'll be quick. <laughs> maybe we won't. Okay, so that was right there. And then, next page, a pocket. That's the double-sided scrapbook paper, or card stocky paper. I've got a little piece of, just a journaling, like a little journaling card or label. Let's see which way it goes. It can probably go either way. But uh, that's in there. And then this is just a little scrapbook paper file folder that I made. So that's uh, in there to have fun with and get creative with. Let's put it this, this way with the little tab up. The tab's right here, and then this little piece I have in here. Okay, so over on this page, which is the coffee dyed paper page, I have a flip here with a pretty butterfly on it, a butterfly sticker, a big tag. You can get creative with that and decorate that if you want or write on it. Another piece from that receipt book, and this is the other their actual receipt part. So, and you see it says 19 there, so, you know, it's all, I mean, 19, if it has 19 on it, you know it's at least 19 years old because it's 2019. <laughs> or it, or maybe it's 18 years old because it's 2019. Another little journaling card with a piece from the magazine. So... I described in that previous video about where I talked about some of the things in here, how I used my uh, pinking shears on some of the ephemera in here. So, page from the magazine, tracing paper, magazine page, and on the back of this one I have a few strips of paper here sewn on and trimmed on the top, so it looks like a little notepad with several pieces of coffee dyed paper, and then my uh, special that I've never parted with before uh, airmail envelope and this is pretty cool I was going to show you something hopefully I didn't put it away because I cleaned up my craft room oh shoot I thought I had it here here it is okay so this is cool because it's old it's very old it's thin paper and it's got this design here and then it has these little blue and red airplanes all across. And it says Par Avion by Airmail. And here's what it looks like on the other side. And I've got some note paper in here. I think I have three pieces of note paper in here for you to journal on. So just one, two, and three. Oh, I have four pieces in here. So that's in there. And you can see there's a design there on the uh, inside of the Airmail envelope. But what I have in my washi tape stash was this, and I'm, I had this in my washi tape stash, this airplane washi tape, and it it's crazy because it matches this, and I mean, this is new, and this is really old, so I don't know, it just, I was so amazed that it, it's like almost the same colors too, so I don't know how that happened, but it was just coincidence. Because I got this at a thrift store and I got this at Dollar Tree. And I found it recently because I always look at their their really nice washi tapes as far as, you know, not the cartoon ones, but the ones like this that, you know, I would actually use in a journal and look kind of maybe sometimes vintagey and stuff like that. So I just found saw this one today and I was pretty amazed that Dollar Tree had really such cool washi tape that I got this one because I was afraid I'd never see it again. <clears throat> you know how that happens sometimes at Dollar Tree. 
So I'm going to include, my point is I'm going to include some of this along with this journal so that, you know, it goes with this envelope and whoever gets this can use it in here because I think that's just a really cool coincidence there. So, okay, moving on. This is a card, an old card that I that I got at a thrift store. And I added some Rick Rack here. I did also distress the edge of this. So that's a and that's a writing spot there or whatever. Put a picture there, whatever you want. Tickets, mementos. Some of my green dye paper. And I left this rough edge because I think that's just kind of adds a cool touch to a junk journal. Another doily pocket where I have a, bo a bookmark, and this bookmark I got at a thrift store, it's not new. A page from the magazine, and some of that double-sided scrapbook paper, which I folded over and made a side pocket here. In this one I have a slightly decorated guest check. I put a little Tim Holtz flower down here, and then you can write on this, decorate it more, layer it up, whatever you want to do. I just want to make sure I leave things for whoever gets my journals to have their own creative fun. This is a piece from the magazine. It's an old barn. I thought that was cool. And I backed it with ledger paper. And then this is just a tag for you to have fun with also, but it has a little saying on it and it's been distressed. So you can decorate down here or write or whatever you want you know, what, whatever you want to do. Here's some lined coffee dye paper, and this is a fold out, so you've got both sides of that to write on or whatever you want to do. I've got a piece of washi here for decoration and also for reinforcement because I felt like there was a weak spot here and I wanted to, I didn't want it to tear, you know, all the way across or anything. So I put a piece of washi there for reinforcement, and I've got a pretty uh, one, two, three, four, five layer collage here, sewn on with a bulb pin and an another key. So I've, this has got two keys, one on the front and one right here. And then next page with a coffee dyed backed magazine page and a doily, coffee dyed back magazine page, a piece of the green dyed paper, another pretty magazine page, and I've got Rick Rack on this green dyed page. And here we're at the middle. I decided to put this fox in the middle because I wanted to, you know, this kind of, not really a nature journal, but it has some nature related things in it, so I thought, you know, if it was going to have uh, any slight theme, maybe a nature journal. So that's why I put the fox in the middle. I thought he was really pretty. And I have, and the, the, the cording I used, I didn't do this on purpose, but it came out really cool because it matches the fox's colors. And then I used like bronze beads here. So they also match the bronze that I have throughout, you know, the front cover and everything on, in this journal. So I thought that came out really cool. And then <clears throat> this is coffee dyed, I mean not coffee dyed, green dyed with the Rick Rack. Some magazine page. And this, so this is the back half of the front. As you can see, just more pretty pages. And here I have a secret journaling spot with this little fold out inside of this lined coffee dyed paper, so that's cool, something different that I hadn't done before. A uh, little burlap bow here, it's burlap and black with a black, sa tiny black safety pin, and you probably can't see it very well. I hesitate to hold things up to the camera because it gets out of focus sometimes. And then I've got a piece of coffee dyed paper here too, just as a kind of a layering effect. And I'll just show this, hold this up, and hopefully my camera won't break out. <laughs> but there you can see this little tiny button kind of matches the overall colors of the journal, the vintage look in the green. So it's a little brown, brownish button. 
Okay, so the next page I've got a fold over pocket that's sewn. And the ephemera in here is a big tag. And then this is a piece from the magazine. It was a button card picture. I put some layering down here. It's a postal related piece from a mag from from some mail and some rick rack. And I've got gold trim on here, gold gl glitter trim. And I talked about in my previous video how I like the contrast of the rustic and the pretty kind of blingy gold color, gold glittery color. Like I mean I described it like putting on a denim jacket with a pretty dress. So that's kind of like my idea on my rustic and, and dressy kind of combos. I've got a, um, I even distressed the edges of my green dye paper and I've got a little puffy sticker here that I distressed too. I wanted that not to be like so new looking so I even distressed that. And then the other half of the page and I put some rick rack on here because I just thought that was pretty with the white. I've got an envelope here and a doily tuck spot. And uh, I've got a dragonfly rubber stamp here with some scrapbook paper. And a page from the magazine, tracing paper. Another page from the magazine. And a flip up here. So this one you can decorate. You know, you can write under there. I've got some ephemera in here. Another little picture of a goat from the magazine that's sewn onto ledger paper. And then this is a little journaling card, really cute, with a line that looks like a tiny, almost like a tiny library card to me, or a or a tiny ledger paper. <laughs> really cute. Okay, and then next we've got a pocket on this page with another one of the pieces that, with the uh, brown paper bag, another picture of a button card and some layering over here. And then on this one, this is a sale tag that I make. I make these with line, the lines on the front, blank on the back. These are in my shop if anybody would like any. A blank ta tag for you to write on or decorate. And a little tiny tag to have fun with. And coffee dyed little page, a uh, page from the magazine. Here a flip out. The other side of that coloring page. And here's a do another doily page with a big tag. These I got at a thrift store here and they say I live in North Carolina and I think these are cool because it's a little touch of my state for whoever gets this. It says Carolina American Tours and this is a, you know an old luggage tag and it's nice and big with lines and it's blue so it's, I think it's pretty. <laughs> okay so you know what these are and then we're at the back. We have in here piece of scrapbook paper and one of the other paper bag journaling cards with a picture in the gold trim and then a picture of this little lady. I thought she was cute and she's got lined paper on her back. <laughs> but I thought she was cute with her red hair and her expression and her chicken. Uh, I get a kick out of the craziest things but just something fun. Maybe bring a smile to someone's face. And then we're at the back. So that's it for that one. And I think I covered everything. So I'll let you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure enjoyed making it and incorporating all my new little ideas and things. And it's already in my shop. So if you like it, just take a trip over there. Turquoise Dreaming on Etsy and oh I was going to mention I started putting you know because these journals are 
to the people who create them, they are like art to us. I mean, I hope that's what, I hope that's the, you know, the feel that people that buy them get, you know. We're creating them and they're a piece of artwork to us, the people that create them, and hopefully that's how they come across to the people that buy them. But I started putting, I hadn't done this, I mean, I've been doing this, this is my fourth year, and I never put my mark on any of the journals. I never wrote in my name or anything or signed them, but I wanted to do something in that regard. So I got a, I bought a stamp with my just, you know, very basic, I didn't want it to be anything big or, you know, anything like that but I did want to put my touch on them because it's kind of like I'm signing my artwork and then if say you buy it you know where you got it but you give it as a gift and the person that gets it says oh I would like to get another one of these but I don't know where it came from you know my friend you know I don't know where she you know I don't know if this for some reason maybe she can't find out where she got it where where it came from so I want people to know where it came from, you know, and just kind of like signing my art. So I, I started putting in the very back side, inside the back cover, just a little stamp with my website as far as Etsy goes, uh, my website name. So people know, you know, you can go to www.etsyturquoisedreaming.com or whatever it is. Um, and there's my shop so anyway I just wanted to explain that real quick so that people know you know why that's there it's not it's not anything you know crazy or anything but it's just like we're signing our art if you see that in the back of a journal from anyone we want you know like an artist signs their painting we want to sign our creation so that's it for, for now, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching today. Hit that subscribe button for me. If you don't mind, I'm trying to get to 200 so I can do my next giveaway. The last one was so much fun, I can't wait for the next one. It was, a, a, it was really a blast. I couldn't believe how fun it was because that was my first one. So can't wait for my second one. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.